Hello everyone, I am Dr. Eric Morrison. This is 7 out of 3, and I'll be covering trading education using the TC2000 and TradingView platforms. Hello, this is the Futures Weeks in Review. I'm going to start off with the Aussie dollar. Nice overall trade on the 20th, profit of $475. British pound, another profit on Monday. $312. Canadian dollar, overall profit of $295. We had a loss on the 22nd and a gain on the 24th. Japanese yen, beautiful trade overall with its crowded short position as you can see here. You can also see that the commercials are well above the six month average on the futures. Nice overall trade for the week, gain of $743. Mexican peso, overall loss of $25. New Zealand dollar, overall gain on Monday. $390. Swiss franc, overall gain $150. South African rand, overall loss of $425 on Tuesday. Going to crude, overall gain here Friday at $1,250. Cotton, overall gain of $5. Dollar, overall gain on Monday of $393. Overall loss of $60. Eating oil, overall gain on Friday $1,780. Coffee was the most erratic with its consolidation. Loss of $2,337. NASDAQ, overall loss in this consolidation area of $2,260. Made it up with palladium. Overall gain on Monday, Tuesday of $3,630. Gasoline, nice overall short on Friday, $223. Sugar, overall gain of $336. Silver, consolidating here each day. Overall loss of $1,920. 10-year note, gain of $15. Dow futures that continue to go up. Nice overall gain and recovery from Tuesday of $170 for the week. Corn, overall loss of $125. Soybean oil, beautiful overall gain of $1,386. Soybean meal, overall gain of $70. 10-year note, overall gain of $78. Now, what puts us through the week, and something to note, is there is... Kind of a holiday effect with low liquidity especially in, in all of the markets forex futures and stocks biggest gainer was on monday uh drawdown dates biggest drawdown date was on the 21st and then another drawdown date on the 22nd and biggest gainer was on that friday overall gain for the week on one standard contract was 15k so something to note a couple days leading up to a u.s holiday in terms of closed market holiday might, might as well not trade. Well, that's all I have for the Futures Week in Review. We're currently conducting a foundations course, an intermediate course. If you're interested in programming in both PineScript or Python and auto trading, click on the links below. And remember, ruthless risk management. Have a great weekend, everybody, and I'll see you on Sunday. Well, if you like this video, hit the like rumble button below and the subscribe button. And if you want more information, click the course information links below. On the TradingView link and on TC2000, I have an affiliate link. If you open up a TC2000 account, you will receive a $25 discount using that link. Thank you for your time.